Hi folks, today we're playing Merchant of the Skies. This is a cool little trade and exploration sandbox style game, uh, with a little bit of base building and stuff like that thrown in. Uh, this is by Cold Wild Games, so thanks to them for giving me a key to this. This is really cute. And um, we're starting with this little floating island here, and we're going to have to go off and see the world. Uh, the goal for this particular scenario is to fix up a lighthouse. You can choose other goals as well, such as feeding stuff to the fish god, and just a pure sandbox as well. Eh. And as it goes through early access, I'm sure they'll add more stuff like that as well. So first of all, we need to spend some cash uh, recharging our ship to the maximum. That's our ship. Isn't it lovely? And you can upgrade that ship as you go. Um, we haven't got a huge amount of cash. That's the week. And this is a five-day week. And at the end of every week, you have to pay your crew. Right, let's visit the Trade Guild and take a little quest. Um, we'll have to fly to the island of Gold Tree and deliver a letter. And we'll get 117 quid. That ain't bad. Now let's see how much we can buy from here and at what prices. So they're selling wood for eight quid a pop. That doesn't sound too bad. I think we can sell that for higher prices elsewhere. So I think I'll get all that. And you can check the prices of every island you've been to on this screen here. Um, so it says like um, wood, herbs and wheat all cost a lot. They're all expensive here because you've got five coins that doesn't translate exactly to five quid that's just like like it's a five it's a, it's a star system like five star expense system so i bought some expensive wood but i reckon we could be able to sell that for more than eight quid elsewhere anyway i think that's pretty much all we can do here so let's go to the map we don't know what the rest of the world holds at the moment uh, so let's we do know that we um we have a quest um goal here so let's fly and this will start using time up so that'll take less than a day to get there. And also, our power is going down. So we used about a third of our power there. So we arrive at a new floating island. Um, later on, you can buy islands for cash and start to improve and upgrade them. Right, first of all, because it's flashing, let's visit here. Turn in our quest. Cash. Nice. And we'll also get another task as well, I think. Blue Pole Island. There, get some more cash. Elsewhere on the island, we have more goods to maybe buy and sell. Unfortunately, they will not they will not buy wood. They will sell us spices, sand, and tea leaves. Um by the looks of it, we should be buying uh, tea leaves because they're not that expensive. So, I'm going to grab a bunch of these. 72 quid. Our inventory space is very limited. Also need to recharge. Uh, pretty much everything we can do here. This is a fairly straightforward island. Sometimes you get other types of buildings as well. Uh, let's continue down to the southwest, I guess. This will take a bit more time. Do, 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 do. You can access the, um, the price of screen here as well. Look, I can actually go back to Greenham and sell those tea leaves. And I'll, get a, I'll actually earn a tidy... Oh, hello! I missed a floating island. Oh, well. All sorts of weird encounters you can have on these floating islands. I once met a carrot, a giant carrot, and sang to it. It was breathtaking. Let's see. Do they want wood? Nope. Uh, by the looks of it, they do sell... Uh, they sell a few other things for... We've already got loads of... No, actually, that's not us, is it? That's actually the merchant. We could buy sand, but I'm not quite sure sand is very interesting. Five quid sand. Uh, spice is ten quid. We might be able to do well out of that, so let's grab those. Um, power up. Well, that's actually quite expensive. And complete the letter, which will give us some cash. You have become more knowledgeable. Seek the knowledge of giants to become more savvy. Uh, the knowledge of giants will allow us to unlock these. Um, it says remaining knowledge points, one for us to spend. But we can't do it here. We actually have to go and visit the island, as it mentioned. Look, if I try to click something. Seek knowledge from the giants. Southwest. So we will actually have to go and find that at some point. So we've still got 300 quid. Um, I think I, I think our ship is now a bit full, so we don't we don't want to be doing anything else at the moment. So let's get moving. Oh, we didn't actually get a quest, did we? We should probably do that. We, yeah, we have no quests at the moment, so let's get out of the screen. Oh, I, I, I made a mistake. I accidentally clicked somewhere. I did not mean to do that. Oh, oh well. We'll have to go here instead. 
No, this is a small island. Oh, no, it's not. There's, there's a more to the right. Oh, so, oh, it is actually a really tiny island. Um, we charge quite expensively. See if the, these lot will actually buy any of our tut. Oh, tea leaves. Um, well, after sales tax, I don't think that's actually going to be a, actually make us a profit. It might do, though. Hmm. It earned us eight quid. How, I can't remember how much I bought it for now. I think it was around eight quid in the first place. Uh, we'll sell it. Oh, 69. Yeah. 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 I could buy something. Actually, no, I couldn't. It's really expensive. This is a place to sell, not buy. Unfortunately, I can't pick up any quests from here, which is a shame. So let's move on. Let's actually try and visit the Valley of the Giants or whatever the hell it was. I think it said southwest, so let's let's have a bit of a, a exploit. Oh, here we go. Look, that could be it. Oh, yep, Island Island of Giants. Perfect. And now we'll be able to skill up. Stay and listen. Here we go. Right. Tax evasion. <laughs> you prefer to call it tax optimization. Trade post income tax reduced by 25%. Right, I spent that point. I only got one point, so that's all we can do here. Still use up quite a lot of power doing that. Well, let's try green mount. Try and pick up some... Oh, we're running out of power. <laughs> we'll make sure we have to recharge here. That's not very big. Oh. This is just for resources. Right, do the old chopper -roo. Let's speed things up. So, earned a bit of wood. Without having to spend anything. Got 12 wood now. We just need to find a place to um, sell it. We have got some batteries in reserve for when we run out of power, which is going to happen soon. We can also purchase this island. I'd rather have one in the middle, but never mind. And it does mean now we could, theoretically, um, improve things. However, we haven't got much money. So, we could build a storage thing. So we've got, like, a, a, basically like a crate of another four inventory slots, but that'll have to stay here. Uh, I don't think there's a huge amount we can really do with this. As I say, we haven't really got that much cash. What I think we might do is... Experiment over here. So that cost us two batteries. Uh, it's another floating island, though. We may as well have a look. Uh, it looks like there's some things here. Oh, this is a, this is a huge place. <gasps> Purchase ship. Oh, look at that bad boy. For 512 quid, which we do not have. But look how nice this is. You can have more people on board. We need more crew. But we can actually also upgrade the ship more. Well, first of all, let's get some power. Uh, we haven't got any quests to turn in. Let's see if we can actually sell some wood or anything. 19 quid wood! Oh, yes. Yes. Let's try and sell Z. Z speed things up? Yes, there we go. So let's sell all that. Earning ourselves a tidy profit. Wheat is... Ooh. Let's get all the wheat. That's cheap wheat, relatively. Yeah, look, that's the cheapest stuff we've found so far. If we go back to the land pole, we'll be able to sell that for a tidy profit. Land pole. Which is back, is back there, isn't it? I really need some more quests. Oh, because I haven't got any. How did you get off this screen? Oh, yes, you have to press that button, don't you? <laughs> it's a bit slightly awkward, that. Anyway, we don't need crew guild task. Here we go. Ravenham Island for not a huge amount of cash. But it is a new place that we haven't been to, so that will be a good place to aim for. Uh, it has a recharge station, a ship workshop. We should, we should have to try and remember that. Actually, we don't need to because we can just look at the map, can't we? Uh, anything else we need to do? I don't think so. We don't need any more crew. We don't need another task. We've done some wheeler dealing. What's this? Ooh! Ship upgrader. Right, so what do we? What could we actually upgrade our thing with? Allows digging sand. Move 25% faster. Well, we can't do that. We can't afford it. Collecting apples. Trees. Well, let's, get, let's get the ability to collect apples for some reason. 
Uh, that would be good for something, I'm sure. Right, let's go. Let's go up to the questy thing up here. We'll visit Greenhold in the meantime. Still trying to find the, the old lighthouse ruins. Apparently that's in the northeast. Look for resources. Speed! I don't think this takes any time. I think you can just do this for free. You can also purchase the island. I haven't got the cash at the moment. Oh, shit. Okay, so we've, we've gone all the way around to um, Monday again. Ship maintenance, 17. Bloody hell. Uh, have a little quick visit to Goldshire. Look, this is a nice place. This is... Oh, bizarre! This is different. In the sense that it looks... Hang on, let's let's get out of the screen. Oh, uh, it doesn't have a... Doesn't have any prices, although that's that's a new one. Look, we've got some something new, to, um, but that's not here. So this doesn't seem to be a. Where well, actually are we at the moment? We're in. We're currently in Goldshire. No, that doesn't appear on this list for for some reason. That's just, it works differently here. Confirm price demand ratio. Demand. I don't know. I'm not sure what this does, but this, I don't think it's worth trying to sell wood, to be honest. How about wheat? Hmm. How much wheat? I think I'll save the wheat for somewhere else. Let's try this then. Let's try selling all this. Well, we are selling it. I think that was a good thing. So it looks like they tried to buy it and did some of it sell? Possibly. So that was a one-off thing by the looks of it. We cannot do any more here. That was peculiar. A peculiar event. Anyway, let's finish off our journey. Turn in a quest. Wee! Boop. New trade post. Gets us some cash. Oh, now we have access to more important tasks. Now, I seem to remember what that means is now, we, if we take a guild task, this will be a different thing. It'll, we'll have to use resources. Oh, no, this is just a letter. I think you can. What happens is sometimes you get tasks, Blue Shire, where you actually have to deliver, like, um, particular goods to the island, and you'll make a particularly good profit. Recharge. We don't need any more crew. We've got a lot of stuff here. Spices? We only actually managed to sell one spice at that bazaar. But it looks like these lot will buy them. I think that was a good deal. I think. This is Ravenham. Spices? Yes. We actually have made a profit there because spices are very expensive here. Sand is cheap. And we can sell that in Gold Tree. So let's buy some sand. Four quid each. We're not going to make huge amounts of profit. But, whatever. We'll make a little. Yeah, don't need to do anything else here, do we? Right, so where are we going? Oh, got it miles away. Hmm. I'm wondering whether we should take a, um, a diversion then to sell us delicious sand. Well, we also need to sell some wood, so we could go to Seashire or... Gold tree. I can't see. <laughs> can't see what these are called. The gold tree's there, and Seashire is there. So let's go back here. We'll do kind of like a lazy loop round to there. We've got plenty of juice at the moment. Right. So we need to sell. What was it here? Seashire. Seashire likes to buy wood. I'll take one of your tasks as well. Deliver 15 wood to here. Okay. Okay, that might actually be... um. Hang on. How much wood have we... Oh, we've got five wood. God damn it. But we could buy wood. If we buy 10 wood for 190 quid... How much will that 
quest givers. 470, that's worth it. I'll do that. And then we go over here and complete the quest. That did actually turn as a tasty little profit there. So you also need to send a letter to Blue Shire. Take a quest. To go to Redham. All right. So next place we're going to. We need to actually look on the thing, don't we? Have we actually got any charging here? Yes, there we go. Right. So yeah, the next thing we need to go to Gold Tree to sell our sand. <laughs> Whoop de do. Where are you, lads? I hope this was worth it. I mean, sand is a bit piss, frankly. Yeah, this is worth it. A little bit. Not the most impressive trade in the world, but it'll do. May as well pick up a task. Five wood to here. I think it was Gold Tree Island. I think we're on Gold Tree Island, aren't we? So we need five wood. Again, we may be able to get away with buying some wood from here. Oh, no, we can't. We can't get wood from here. We still... Oh, more tea leaves. Uh, they're a bit expensive. Not... Oh, we've got 699 quid, though. Spices, but well, there's not enough, really, to make a profit. Uh, tea leaves. I'll go for tea leaves, I think. Now, let's see. We're on gold tree, aren't we? So it won't buy... It won't buy that. Let's... Actually, whilst we're at it... Tea leaves. Greenham or Landpole? If they're in the on the route. Green... Oh, God. Was it Greenham or... Mm. Oh, it was. This is Greenham. This is fine. This is where we want to be. And we also get to recharge. This is where we started, isn't it? I think. Right. Go over here and flog our tea leaves. All of them. Thank you. 100 quid. That clears out a bit, of a, a bit of our inventory. Oh, it wants us to... Ooh. We've got a shitload of letters and resources to do now. Gold. We really need to actually get going with that. Right. Go to the quest. Quite a long journey, this. Oh, the carrot! Let's have a visit to the carrot. Majestic carrot. This will give us a mini game. Here we go. Here we go. He's waking up! Hey! Right. So this is a little um, Simon Says minigame. Blue. Red. Blue, blue, red. Blue, red, yellow, blue. Blue, red, yellow, blue. Hey! Three resources. Look like two stone and a wood. Thanks, carrot. Bye, carrot. Uh, and now, awkwardly, I'm going to have to pop back to, <laughs> to quickly recharge my ship. Not quite sure if the net of all this was actually worth it. Four, well, it only cost four quid to recharge. But we are actually advancing time, of course. Uh, this is more like, let's see, see what else we'll actually uncover. Raven tree. Visit Blueshire. I do want to like aim for the lighthouse as well, so that'll, that'll require a bit of investigating around here. The lighthouse on Blue... Sh oh, Blue Shire! Blue Shire apparently is the lighthouse place. Huh. Let's take a look. First of all, recharge. First of all, deliver the letter. And first of all... Rebuild the lighthouse. We need 15 wood and 30 sand to get it to level 1. We have neither. 15 wood, 30 sand. We've got one wood. I think we've got rid of all the sand. Can we actually buy it? We can buy 8 wood from here. It's slightly more expensive. Oh, sand is cheap as chips here. Let's get all the sand. All the sand we'll ever need. Oh, piss. Well... Let's get rid of that one wood. 35 quid? Oh no, there's some... Huh? <laughs> Is the sales tax really absurd here? 
No, it's not. It's just that wood did not give me anything. Oh well, whatever. Anyway, we, uh, we've got the sand now. Somehow. Anyway, <laughs> whatever. Right, okay, so we've got sand, and we can... Can we put that towards the lighthouse yet? Or do you have to actually... Yeah, I think you have to get all of it first. All right. Well, we know where the lighthouse is anyway, and we know how... To... So that's the... I'm not sure what levels... I think they'll probably require higher and higher resources as you go. But at least I've found the lighthouse now, anyway. And you can buy apples and wood quite... I reckon it's quite cheap. I don't know where I'm supposed to be gathered. Because I bought an apple basket, didn't I, at one point? I uh, haven't actually done anything with that. So let us actually... Provide that it actually lets us... And everything's sensible. Let's actually get all these apples. Oh yes, of course. God damn it. I've actually spent the money now. Um, so, hang on. Let's get rid of this stone. Oh, we can't. Uh, so have I actually bought those apples? No, I haven't. They're still there. Okay. Right. I really want to get rid of these. I'm not quite sure you can get rid of stuff. But anyway, where else do we need to go? We still need to deliver letters back to Gold Tree. Applewise, if you go to Blue Pole, that might actually be worth it. Blue Pole is... Oh, it's miles away. Okay, let's try Raven Tree instead. Let's see what's going on in Raven Tree. Have we been here already? I don't think we have. Redham Island, actually, that's a, that looks like a very good deal for us. Uh, I think that's down there. So this is going to be a bit of a journey, I think. Let's hope we can try and... We'll st try and stop where, somewhere en route. I'll have to try and maybe discover a new... Oh, hello, there's a new island. Gold place. Oh, no, actually, this is... um. Oh, this is a gold place. Uh, this is just a wood chopper. Storage is full. No. Don't want to do that. Right, let's try and make it... Oh, we can't. We're going to have to use up our batteries, aren't we? Yeah, this isn't ideal. I'm sure we'll be fine. We're going to Redham. Was that the right one? I don't think it was. Let's hope this has got a recharge station. Yes, it is. There it is. Oh, this is the right place. Oh, we've got two letters to Redham. Didn't realise we got that. Oh, they also want some wood. I might as well take that task. There we go. Cash for days. We're almost at the end of the week again. But we are making absolutely bucket loads of cash. The only thing we can get rid of. Um, wheat. Let's see what the wheat situation is here. Oh. I love the economy's changing, I think. Wood's only two, two stars up for Greenham at the moment. Um, I kind of like want to get rid of the wheat because it's not really helping as much, is it? This won't place won't buy stone. I think I'm gonna get rid of the rid of the wheat. It's just in the way now. Get rid of it all. Press Z whilst doing that. Gets us a bit of cash. Um if we get some wood, we'll be able to fulfil that as well. Can we actually buy wood here? Uh, only four, that's not enough. Hmm. We're doing okay, we've uncovered quite a lot of islands now. So you can see how this is going, but there seems to be a long journey ahead of us when it comes to um, upgrading ships and islands and all sorts of things. Um, it looks like we're, we will quite soon investigate all the islands, but from there on it becomes more about efficiency and trying to work out trade routes and things like that. It does seem to be, it does seem that the economy is changing. Oh, we also have got um, these, I think these are dyes we've uncovered, and Redham buys them for incredibly large amounts of coin. I say this is in early access, so they're still still working on this, still adding stuff to it and tweaking and all that sort of stuff. So interesting future ahead of this game, I think. Pleasingly, like um, it's like one of these seemingly casual games that do actually offer quite an absorbing experience. So quite enjoying this. Uh, so yeah, th thanks for watching. Do check out the rest of my stuff or the rest of the indie games that I cover, and check out my Patreon if you want to support the channel. Um, just click on the link on the description and all that. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.